prophet Ezekiel. The angel brought me, Ezekiel, back to the entrance of the temple of the Lord, and I saw the water flowing out from beneath the threshold of the temple towards the east, from, for the facade of the temple was towards the east. The water flowed down from the right side of the temple, south of the altar. He led me outside by the north gate and around to the outer gate facing the east, where I saw water trickling from the right side. Then he had walked over to the east with the measuring cord in his hand. He measured off a thousand cubits and had me wade through the water, which was ankle deep. He measured off another thousand, and once more he had me wade through the water, which was now knee deep. Again, he measured off a thousand and had me wade. The water was up to my waist. Once more he measured off a thousand, but there was now a river through which I could not wade. The water had risen so high it had become a river that could not be crossed except by swimming. He asked me, have you seen this son of man? Then he brought me to the bank of the river where he had me sit. Along the bank of the river, I saw many trees on both sides. He said to me, this water flows into the eastern di district upon the Arabah and empties into the sea, these salt waters which makes it fresh. Wherever the river flows, every sort of living creature that can multiply shall live, and there shall be abundant fish. For wherever this water comes, the sea shall be made fresh. Along both banks of the river, fruit trees of every kind shall grow. Their leaves shall not fade, nor their fruit fail. Every month they shall bear fruit, for they shall be watered by the flow of the sanctuary. Their fruit shall serve for food and their leaves for medicine. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The responsorial psalm. The Lord of hosts is with us. Our stronghold is the God of Jacob. The Lord of hosts is with us. Our stronghold is the God of Jacob. God is our refuge and our strength, an ever-present help in distress. Therefore we fear not, though the earth be shaken and mountains plunge into the sea. The Lord, the Lord of hosts is with us. Our stronghold is the God of Jacob. There is a stream whose gauntlet runlets gladden the city of God, the holy dwelling place of the Most High. God is in its midst. It shall not be disturbed. God will help it at the break of dawn. The, the Lord, Lord of hosts is with us. Our stronghold is the God of Jacob. The Lord of hosts is with us. Our stronghold is the God of Jacob. Come, behold the deeds of the Lord, the astounding things he has wrought on earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. Our stronghold is the God of Jacob. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. There was a feast of the Jews, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. Now, there is in Jerusalem, at the Sheep Gate, a pool called in Hebrew Bethesda, with five porticos. In these lay a large number of ill, blind, lame, and crippled. One man was there who had been ill for 38 years. When Jesus saw him lying there, he knew that he had been ill a long time, and he said to him, Do you want to be well? The sick man answered him, Sir, I have no one to put me into the pool when the water is stirred up. While I'm on my way, someone else gets there before me. Jesus said to him, Rise, take up your mat and walk. Immediately the man became well, took up his mat and walked. Now that day was a Sabbath. So the Jews said to the man who was cured, It is the Sabbath. It is not lawful for you to carry your mat. He answered them, The man who made me well told me, Take up your mat and walk. They asked him, 
Who is the man who told you, take it up and walk? The man who was healed did not know who it was, for Jesus had slipped away since there was a crowd there. After this, Jesus found him in the temple area and said to him, Look, you are well. Do not sin any more, so that nothing worse may happen to you. The man went and told the Jews that Jesus was the one who made him well. Therefore the Jews began to persecute Jesus because he did things like this on the Sabbath. The Gospel of the Lord. The images in the text of the hymn that we're singing actually are based on the book of Revelation, but the book of Revelation itself is based on the image that we got today from Ezekiel about the river. And let's just look at that for a second. It's a trickle coming out of the temple, yet it turns into a tremendous river, and that river is a river of peace, of healing, of food and medicine, all these good things. It is kind of a restoration of the Garden of Eden in many ways. All the animals that are on the banks sitting there, the people sitting on the banks, all the food, all the medicine. What a beautiful, fantastic, gorgeous image that is. And it ties so beautifully then with the way in which Jesus is presented, especially in John's Gospel. A little bit today, much more in the course of the, the whole thrust of the Gospel. Where just a couple of Sundays ago, Jesus tells the woman, He is the source of living water that bubbles up like a geyser, springing up like that to eternal life. And I think the image of a geyser is a nice one for that bubbling up to eternal life because after all, the most famous geyser in the world is called Old Faithful. And so Jesus is utterly faithful. Then we get also at one of the great feasts of the Jews, Jesus saying, come to me to drink because springs of living water will come from here. Springs of living water, which then finally gets fulfilled on the cross when the streams of blood and water flow from the heart of Jesus to be the fountain of as our liturgy tells us, of the sacramental life of the church. So the image that we have today from Ezekiel finds a tremendous and beautiful fulfillment in the Gospel of John as we're being carried through. Today's specific connection is easily the idea that there is some water that can be healing water sometimes, but when you're confronted with the real living water, that's all that really matters. We're confronted with that living water today. Let's ask the Lord to help us to be joyful, to say, yes, Lord, tell me just to pick up my mat and walk and go where you wish me to go. Let us stand and pray.